back. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing to Chisiplow, um, for a little bit, and then I am going to be having someone come down, and we'll be doing a job interview for another farmhand. I believe full-time farmhand, or at least most of the time. I'm not sure if he farms around the area, like, a little land or not. I'm not 100% sure what he does, or if he just owns property out in the country, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but that's what the interview is for. So, yeah, I will see you guys a little later today once we're doing the interview. Alright, guys, so I am going to get the first pair of wagons loaded up while I wait. And then I will see you guys once he gets here pretty quick here. Yes, we did. I got a radio call, but it wasn't anything too important. But, yeah, see you guys then. Alrighty guys, so it turns out he is not going to be able to show up today. He sent me a text about an hour ago, I didn't see it. Um, so, yeah, he's not going to be able to come in today for the interview, but he's probably going to tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm going to haul in a, load, a couple loads a week, um, and then I will see you guys after, because I'm looking to pick up a piece of land here and if I can do that that'd be really nice for my crop rotation so I can get a little bit better a little bit more of an even amount of each crop and I would pick up a little more hay ground too so yeah I will see you guys once we have sold two or three trips a week and I'll see where we are at from there Alright, so I took in three trips we are a little short but I am going to go to the bank later and see if I can take out enough money to get that extra field. So, yeah, I will see you guys after we go to the bank. Alright, before we head out to the bank, because uh, my main guy, my main banker, he's, uh, he's on lunch right now. So, I am going to get this tractor backed up here, because I got to few shanks on the chisel plow I want to replace later today. They're starting to get worn down and, you know, precautions. Got all the lights on in here, even though it's the middle of the day, because I plan on having all the doors closed. Because it's getting kind of chilly out. So, yeah. I don't want to have all the doors open anymore. I'd rather just have, you know, one or two. We sacrifice a little natural lighting, but... It's at least warmer, so it's... There. So yeah, I will see you guys once we are heading to the bank. I'm actually probably going to call ahead first. Alright, let's go in here and get some shanks for the chisel plow, which I already ordered. I just got to pick them up and I'll take a look around. See what's new in here, if anything. Oh, there it is. Not really nothing too new though. So I'm gonna go pick those up. But that's a shame. That's my neighbor's combine right there. This one's a new one. They're uh, it's in testing right now. They sent one out here, but it's not for sale. And then that's a guy around his tractor. It's a shame. But I got my parts loaded up. I was just talking to the guys for a little bit. So I got to hurry up, get back in the pickup, and head out to the bank. And I'll uh, see you guys once we got something settled. But, yeah. See you guys then. Well, $150,000 in debt later. Not total. I did pay some back from what I initially owed. So I took out 100000 here and I still owed... No, I took out 110000 here and I still owed about 40000 But we own this field and the other field I was looking at. It's got the signal, but there's no one behind me. Um, whoa, we need to slow down a little.
Um, but yeah, we own another field now. We own this one back here. Um, right past my whoa. Right here, we own this one, so I want to get out and smooth the edges of those of that here real quick, and then I will see you guys afterwards when we get back to chisel plowing. I'm smooth the edges with the chisel plow, and then yeah. I gotta replace some shanks, so, so let me grab those out of the box, and then see you guys once it's ready to go. I have that taken care of. Um, I'm gonna hop in the 4240 here, and I'm gonna get this thing hooked up to the seat drill we have. So I just turn left. Put it in D2R. I want to get hooked up to this because this thing takes quite some time to get uh, prepared for spring. It's already winterized. Oops. My bells fell out there. But yeah, as I was saying, it's already winterized. It's just um, a matter of unwinterizing it takes forever because there's so many different little, you know, tubes and pipes all over the place so I gotta try and get this thing past the combine um, Let's go to the other side of it, I guess. No one got caught on. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys real quick here. Um, I gotta run into town again. Um, because, well, John Deere has a green cart. Uh -oh. Potentially, it's not in state, but I gotta go look at it um, and see if, because I could potentially, you know, pre-order it. But also, um, another thing is, I have a couple places I gotta go in town. I gotta go get groceries. One, yeah. See you guys once I'm back. Thank you. All right, got groceries. And right here in the back of the pickup there, they're good to go. So let's get headed uh, to Pioneer. I want to get my seed for the spring pre-ordered, or at least some seed pre-ordered. And fertilizer um, up here with John Deere. It's actually in the John Deere thing. They have a office area in there. So yeah, I will see you guys after. I have all my uh, seat for the year pre-ordered. I finished buying that. I had one more stop to take, but, um... Oh my, man, these drivers. What are we doing? Speed limit's 80, let's go! Um... But yeah, I just got done there. I got 8 pallets of seed and 8 pallets of fertilizer ordered, so... We'll see, I got four pallets of soybeans, four pallets of corn. Um, we'll see. Um, but yeah. I will see you guys back at the farm and um, we are going to just get back to just plowing. As long as there's nothing wrong with the tractor because I thought there was a slight problem but I can't tell for sure. So yeah, I'll see you guys back at the farm up just fine but my problem is like it's in neutral I put it in first but like really jerky but if I go to F2 it's still kind of jerky I go F3 it's still jerky F4 it's a little bit less 
five it pretty much stops and then six it's done but the reason I'm concerned is because um, the only time I can really remember anything at all like this happening was when the drive shaft between the transmission and engine and an older tractor we used to run here um, oh yeah and nine rain and nine it does it too and it's fine which is weird um and the only time I remember that is when there was a problem with the tractor transmission and the transmission and engine not going together essentially not working in unison which wouldn't be very good so I don't know I'm probably gonna have John Deere come out but they're really busy so I might have to haul my tractor there because I don't feel comfortable driving it on the road I don't really feel comfortable driving it in the field like this very much honestly I should turn around and go on the other side and just do it for testing see what's wrong and call out John Deere and see where we go from there but if this doesn't work the 8930 I'd have to I'd probably have to get the duels out for that because that's got the next most horsepower behind this thing so yeah I'll uh, see you guys once uh, John Deere kind of has been here and diagnosed anything or if they think I need to haul it in I don't know but yeah I will see you guys then so I gotta bring it in unfortunately because they think that there might be a problem with the alternator and and then it, the alternator is not working right and then it's messing with the transmission and then the transmission is not wanting to go as well so yeah let's get um let's get back up to the farm i'm going to unhook the chisel plow get my trailer hooked up and i'm um, I mean, I'm gonna go put this away, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go put this on the shed, and then... Yeah, it's overheating, too, now. Started overheating, and so... I don't know, it could be a problem with, you know, the coolant getting in the oil. And that's why it's overheating. I don't know. Honestly, so I gotta go... Put this... And back in place. Alright, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna shut this off. I don't really want to run it, especially not while it's overheating. And I'm going to take my truck, hook it up to the uh to my flatbed trailer and get that loaded up. That's a shame. I don't know. I you know I didn't think it would be necessarily that one, but it's alright. Just glad we went to that auction so I have other tractors so I'm not completely stranded here with one tractor to try and run my farm. But I just hope I get this thing back by spring because this is the only tractor that I can pull the digger with. I'd have to either get a small disc or a smaller digger, rent it out for the year, and you know, that's just a lot of you know, that's a lot of money being spent. And so yeah. Let's get this thing loaded up. Well, I should probably get the extensions out. There we go. That's better. A lot better. Okay. And... Oof. Okay. There we go get that loaded up strap it down and I will see you guys at John Deere we are loaded down but it'll be alright see you guys there yeah, we got the hell no problem.
Alrighty. Let's get driving. Let's get pulled back here. And then, um... Yeah, let's get this tractor unloaded. We'll see where they want it. Didn't do it in this gear before. Uh -huh. Let's get pulled into here. So to just park it against the wall, so I'll do that. But unfortunately, that's gonna be it for today's episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe and Goodbye.